Hello students, welcome to class. So, in this class, we are going to start with another poem that is poem number 2.4 Have you earned your tomorrow? Written by Edgar Guest. So, let's start with the introduction of the poet. The name of the poet is Edgar Albert Guest. He was a British-born American poet who was popular in the first half of the 20th century and became known as the people's poet. His poems often had an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life. He began his career in the year 1895 when he was only 14 years old. He was soon promoted to police writer and later to exchange editor. He was an American writer of newspaper and magazines as well. So, moving on to the introduction of the poem, Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? is an inspirational poem. In this poem, the speaker is asking the readers whether they have done anything to improve the life of another human being or not. It is up to you whether you will have a better future or not. Therefore, one should consider one's actions and deeds carefully and plan accordingly for a better future. The title is have you earned your tomorrow? The title is a verbal question to the readers to rethink the treatment that they are giving to others. It gives hint that we must help people around us. It confirms our bright future. The title tells us, as you sow, so shall you reap. As per the law of Newton, what we give to others, it comes back forcefully to us. If we do good in present or in past, it will surely make our future bright. Today's good investment is tomorrow's gain. We should work honestly for better future. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Your good actions in the present will always be responsible to lead a good life ahead. The poet is making aware us our duties and responsibilities to gain a fruitful future. Investing something good today means earning everything tomorrow. So let's start with the explanation of the poem. Have you earned your tomorrow? Is anybody happier because you passed his way? Does anyone remember that you spoke to him today? This day is almost over and its toiling time is through. Is there anyone to utter now a kindly word of you? Did you give a cheerful greeting to the friend who came along or a churlish sort of howdy and then vanish in the throng? Were you selfish, pure and simple as you rushed along the way? Or is someone mighty grateful for a deed you did today? Can you say tonight in parting with the days that slipping fast that you helped a single brother of the many that you passed? Is a single heart rejoicing over what you did or said? Does a man whose hopes were fading now with courage look ahead? Did you waste the day or lose it? Was it well or sorely spent? Did you leave a trail of kindness or a scare of discontent? As you close your eyes in slumber, 
Do you think that God would say you have earned one more tomorrow by the work you did today? Written by Edgar Guest. So, as I told you, Have You Earned Your Tomorrow by Edgar Guest presents a number of questions. He hopes that everyone does what they can to bring hope and courage to those who feel hopeless. So, let's start with a complete explanation of the poem. Starting with stanza 1. Is anybody happier because you passed his way? Does anyone remember that you spoke to him today? This day is almost over and its toiling time is through. Is there anyone to utter now a kindly word of you? So, the meanings are Toiling time means time spent in hard physical work. Through here means over. Acha means to speak. And the explanation is, In the first stanza of this piece, the speaker begins with a question. Of all the questions to come, this one is the most direct. It gets to the heart of what guest speaks is concerned with. He asks if, today, you, referring to the reader, made anyone's day better. He speaks abstractly about a him, the reader, might have passed and helped or made happier. The speaker purposely does not define what this means. It is up for interpretation as it could mean any number of things. This question is followed by a second, then later a third. The second asks the reader if there was anyone you spoke to today who remembers you. Again, this question could mean anything. The most important parts of these two questions are the emphasis on unprompted kindness and the fact that is now the end of the day. The hours are running out for you to make a positive impact. The speaker emphasizes this by asking if there is anyone to utter now a kindly word of you. The poem Have You Earned Your Tomorrow consists of many questions to the reader. The poem is addressed to you the reader and refers to him, the stranger or one of the many we come across in our lives. In the beginning, the poet asks whether anyone is happier because of you while passing his or her way. At the end of the working day, will anyone remember with gratitude a kind word or action that you may have done for him? Or her. So, moving on to the second stanza. Did you give a cheerful greeting to the friend who came along or a churlish sort of howdy and then vanish in the throng? Were you selfish, pure and simple as you rushed along the way or is someone mighty grateful for a deed you did today? So, the meanings are Cheerful means happy or merry. Greeting means polite words or sign of welcome. Came along means arrived or accompanied someone. Churlish here means rude or ill-mannered. Howdy means an informal friendly greeting. Vanish means disappear. Throng is a large crowd. Raj means moved with urgent haste or ran towards something in hurry. Mighty means vast, strong and powerful. Deed means doing. 
So the second stanza begins with another question. Here the speaker asks if any time during the day you greeted a friend cheerfully. Now the kindness is moving inward. The speaker is also concerned with how you treat those known to you as well. In the next lines, he presents the opposite and pushes the reader on their own selfish tendencies. Rather than a cheerful, heartfelt hello, the speaker asks if you were churlish or rude. This would also be marked by one's quick disappearance into the crowd and a rushing off to another task. It is clear that speaker feels distaste at the idea of treating a friend in this way. He says very clearly that it is a purely selfish way to be. As if he is hoping for the opposite response, he asks, Or did you act differently? And is someone grateful for a deed you did today? The poet asks, if you had a cheerful greeting for a friend who may have come hesitantly, maybe to seek help? Or did you just pretend not to notice what she wanted and just said a quick hello and brushed past him or her into the crowd? Did you act selfish and uncaring or will someone be truly grateful you helped them out today. So now, moving on towards the third stanza. Can you say tonight, in parting with the days, that slipping fast, that you helped a single brother of the many that you passed, in a single heart rejoicing over what you did or said, does a man whose hopes were fading now with courage look ahead. The meanings are, parting means to give up or let go. Slipping fast means going or moving quickly. Here it means getting over. Rejoice means thrill or joy. Fading means gradually growing faint, disappearing. And here it means losing hope. Courage means bravery. So the third stanza begins with a longer question, probing into any help the reader might have given to a single brother. It is enough for the speaker if you were kind to one person out of the many that you passed. An action like this would be sufficient to have earned your tomorrow. It is important to note how this way of thinking is connected to a number of different religions and the dependence on good deeds. This is backed up by guest tendency to connect his themes to Christianity. In fact, God comes into play in the fourth stanza as one is forced to contend with how they lived. In the second half of the third stanza, the speaker uses courage and cowardice as tools to improve or worsen someone's life. He asks if there is one single heart that is now rejoicing due to your actions. Ideally, he would like there to be a man with improved hopes and courage to look ahead. So, the poet further asks, at the end of the day, if you can honestly say you helped a single fellow human. While you go about busily, we surely notice many in need, but just do not have the patience to do one help that is unasked for. We never help someone on our own. Is some stranger thrilled for a small help you extended? He or she may have been hopeless, but did you take out some time to give him or her hope again? 
So, moving on towards the fourth stanza. The fourth stanza is, Did you waste the day or lose it? Was it well or sorely spent? Did you leave a trail of kindness or a scare of discontent? As you close your eyes in slumber, do you think that God would say, You have earned one more tomorrow by the work you did today? So here, sorely means extremely hard, painful. Trail means a mark or a series of signs or objects left behind by the passage of someone. Scare means a scratch, scar means a scratch or wound. Discontent means dissatisfaction. Slumber means sleep. Earned means rewarded or deserved to live for one more day. So, in the fourth stanza, the speaker states that any day not spent, at least in part, improving the lives of others is wasted. It is lost if it was solely or badly spent. On the other hand, if it was well spent, there will be a trail of kindness marking one's path through the day. The last lines tell the reader, if they are unsure how their day was spent, that they can close their eyes in slumber and think about what God would have to say to them. If, after considering the response of God, a reader feels as if they have done well, then tomorrow is assured. Otherwise, good might look kindly on the actions or inactions of the day and tomorrow might not come. So, now let's summarize the poem, Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? by Edgar Guest presents a number of probing questions to the reader about how they spend their days. The poem begins with the speaker asking a reader if they did anything to improve the day of another human being. He continues on to ask if the reader greeted their friends cheerfully or if instead they passed them by churlish it is the end of the day and the time is running out to guarantee one's actions are proved by God. In the second half of the poem, the speaker inquires into the reader's actions further. He hopes that everyone does what they can to bring hope and courage to those who do not have it. The poem concludes with the speaker reminding the reader that it is up to God whether or not you have a tomorrow. Therefore, one should consider their actions carefully if they want to see the next day. Here, the last stanza plays a very important role. It means, the poet asks if you wasted that day like so many days gone not having done anything remarkable. Was today well spent or a dead loss? Did you leave behind someone smiling or left someone feeling dejected because you ignored them? When you are about to sleep, do you think God may grant you one more day to live? So, here we have completed the explanation of the poem 2.4, Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? Now, let's move on to the appreciation of the poem. The title. The title of the poem is Have You Earned Your Tomorrow? The title seems to be a rhetorical question which implies moral behavior. Have You Earned Your Tomorrow is a self-proclaiming title to inspire behavior morally. About the poet. This poem is written by Edgar Guest, who was a British-born American poet. In the first half of 20th century, 
He became to be known as people's poet. His poems often have an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life. About the poem, this poem is didactic as it teaches moral lesson about the behavior and kindness of heart. The poem has many self-answered questions to motivate the readers to be good with others to have a good future. Theme The poem focuses on the importance of human relationships. Improvement of interpersonal relationship is the main theme of the poem. The poet asks the readers some probing questions to remind self-evaluation process. If, after considering the response of God, the reader feels he has done well for others and his tomorrow is assured. The poetic style or language. There is interrogation in 11 lines of the 16-line poem. The language is simple and uplifting. The, the poem has four stanzas of four lines each. Poetic device. The first stanza has four lines, each having 14 syllables. The second, third and fourth stanzas also have four lines and have 15 syllables each. The figures of speech like alliteration, repetition and interrogation are prominently used in the poem. Some special features of the poem. This is an inspirational poem. Each stanza contains questions for the readers. The repetition of the AY sound appears in the first, second and fourth stanzas in order to unify, unify the poem. Improvement of human relationships is the focusing element in this poem. The moral of the poem is, helping others is a fundamental part of humanity. This is a true and genuine way to feel better about oneself. Vincent Churchill rightly said, We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Opinion. In opinion, you can write by your own also. So, according to me, the golden rule of life is that if I need others to treat me well, then I must treat others well first. And we should always be the change that we wish to see in the world. So, this is the appreciation of the poem 2.4 have you earned your tomorrow? Now, this was the fourth poem from your course. So, you need to follow the same action plan as I had shared with you in the previous videos. So, see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye and take care.